hiking through the woods for a bit. We're in Copper Canyon on Mount Sicker, and this is the way we're going down. Easiest access. Usually you can walk across all these rocks and bedrock, hopping from rock to rock to get to the mine workings, but this looks like the easiest way down when the water's high. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna take some samples from wherever we can access along the river where we can find any good mineralization. This is where we came down from. There's a bunch of open cuts all along here. The Copper Canyon shaft is actually up that way, about 100 meters. And uh, there's a opening down on the river here. There's reportedly about four or 500 meters of workings. And uh, there's supposed to be three adits on this side going up. There's a couple small ones on the way here if you're walking along the water. But you can see all the oxidation. Pretty much anywhere you see oxidation, if you hammer rock, you see mineralization. So we're gonna see if we can find where one of the adits is and uh, get a bit of sampling done. You can see the water's really flowing. Never actually been down here when it's flowing this much because usually I walk along the bank. You can see there, that's an entrance to something. I don't know where it goes. That's the Mount Brenton side. We're on the Mount Sicker side right now. This is a open cut. See everything's falling down. This right here is Mineralization. You got your schistose rock on the outside, you have quartz, you got a lot of stuff here. You can see down here in the water, quartz with sulfides, and that looks like, based on the strike, it's up there. So I think you can actually see the vein on the side there. So we have our first sample here, I'm gonna take it from right here. This is a sulfide vein with pyrite, calcopyrite. It's about 30 centimeters wide here. Try not to get wet. So we got a sample from here. This is all quartz down there. This is all quartz, but it's really deteriorated. These are some of the freshest samples we got. Mostly what I'm seeing is pyrite disseminated and you have some calcopyrite mixed in in minor amounts. So we have our sample, our duplicate from here, and we're gonna call this vein number one. And then we're gonna head up the other side of this and see what else we can find. So we have another open cut there. We have the portal of a mine here. This running down here is a sulfide vein. This is about 25 centimeters wide down there, 30 centimeters wide. I can see sulfides all up through here all the way down to the water. And it's exposed up there. There's some sulfides in here as well. This is where we just took that last sample going in there. So we've got some samples from down there, along here, 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 and up there. Pyrite. A little bit of calcopyrite. What I noticed on Mount Sicker is where there's coarse pyrite, if you go deeper, it transitions to calcopyrite. Not always, but definitely in a lot of the showings, they're very closely related. So back where that sample was over there, 
we are about 10 meters over. You can see two clearly defined areas here where you have veining of sulfides. About 20 to 25 centimeters wide. It looks like they punched in on them a bit in this open cut. So you can see all these narrow veins here. These are all quartz veins or little sulfide stringers. And you can see this goes up here. You have a vein running up there and that is one of the veins in that open cut. You have quartz and sulfides, primarily pyrite, minor calcopyrite, and you can see the quartz veining there. This right here is one of the main portals. This is the Victoria Adit, and there's the quartz vein exposed on the edge there. And you can see it obviously runs underneath here. You can see the quartz and sulfides there. I've taken a sample from here previously and the sample was actually underneath this rock area. When the water is low in the summertime, it's only trickling. I've also taken a sample across there. On the other side of that little crest is the entrance to the Copper Canyon shaft. And the Copper Canyon shaft goes down from above and connects there. These are all small little open cuts on veins similar to this. You can see sulfides. So what I want to do, take a couple samples, one from there, and we're going to take one from along here. Pulling samples off of here, from here all the way over to here. This is about 50 to 60 centimeters wide. You can see the pyrite, calcopyrite. Take a look at some of the samples I pulled out. Some nice color to those. Massive calcopyrite. As you go down deeper, the deeper in you go, the more calcopyrite you get. Starts at surface looking like this and then the more you go in starts looking finer and you start seeing more calcopyrite mixed in with your fine pyrite these samples look very similar to the ones you find in Copper Canyon Creek which is actually draining in about 50 meters that way. Lots of mineralization here. So we got four samples today, two from over there, one from here, one from here. So this is the entrance to the Atta. You can see there's lots of sand in it right now. A couple cross cuts, the winds, a bit of a raise supposedly at the back. You can see the width of the vein here. From here over to there, it's about a meter and a half. You can see the sulfides there. You can see over here 
the quartz with pyrite and calco pyrite. So, about a meter and a half width. We took our sample down here where J2's standing, right where the hammer is there, all the way across to underneath that rock there. So it's a 1.25 meter chip sample in semi-massive and massive sulfides. And then there's a little bit of quartz in there that's disseminated pyrite. So we'll see what that shows up as when we get those assayed. You can see all the open cuts all along here. There's also another couple veins on this side. We just can't access them right now. And then over there you have Copper Canyon Mine and there's another vein, 50 centimeter wide quartz vein over there, uh, which I have previously had a sade and it was plus 10% copper. So that's it, we're gonna head out now, back to the vehicle. We have about an hour hike out of here because we gotta go the long way. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.